you didn't bring your book up here. I sold out, that's why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you forgot that part. Yeah, that's right. But anyway, uh, I am Kobe. Um, I am the author of the book Integrity, uh, Developing a Principled Life. And I also own Kobe Consulting. And we specialize in creating custom software solutions to automate business so that you business owners can concentrate on working on your business instead of being stuck in them. Um, my teams and I, for over a decade, have created thousands of apps, like the websites that you log into and do lots of oh, things. Oh my God, I have a book. <laughs> um, and we've created mobile apps like you have on your phone. Um, and we've worked for small mom and pop shops and startups and made the multi-million dollar businesses, as well as the big boys like AstraZeneca, Mead Johnson, Nokia, and Bayer. So anything that you have in your business that you can automate and create a software product out of, We'll do that for you, and you'll make a lot of money upgrading a weakness in your business. So anyway, yeah. Well, this is the book. So there's this book. I, I kind of wanted to bring you up because you've, you know, Kobe was an interesting client. Uh, he was the hardest sale I think we've ever had, <laughs> for sure. Um, and, and I'm not even talking about the KPI program, but in terms of your scrutiny for sitting there going, all right, well, I've heard these five things. Are they going to work for me? Yeah. Are they not? That kind of thing. I'd love for you to just share with them your experience about you know, your level of maybe skepticism in the beginning yes, and how absolutely. that's kind of going through. Yeah. So I want to thank you guys for sticking it out today. Um, also, um, I think KPI puts on a great show. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. It's, it's Mandy and Jody. Yeah, see, and that's exactly why I hated it. I'll be completely <laughs> honest with you. I came in here, I was sitting in the seats just like you guys are. I looked at the bullseye on the ground and all these fancy banners and and I was like totally like, oh my God, this is so whiz bang, showbiz, there's absolutely no value in it in whatsoever. But I was smart enough to be curious and I wanna put you into my mindset. So you know I create custom software. We create it. Uh, it's a team effort. And when you create custom software, you have kind of like a technical engineering mindset. And what that means is, is you start to look at risks and things. That's where you're oriented. And over time, I started to realize, you know, even though I'm putting all of this effort, all of this quality into serving my customers, creating the best software I can possibly get, I, I realized that we are kind of invisible. We spent zero dollars in 10 years on any sales and marketing whatsoever. And I am a true Floridian, like Real Law knows. Uh, well done. <laughs> and if you are a true Floridian, there's two classes of restaurants. There's the good restaurants you go to, you pay money and you get good value. And then there's the restaurants that the tourists go to. And the tourist restaurants are very, very showy, very marketing, etc. So it really set me off and I was like, you know, I'm gonna be curious, I'm gonna find out what's going on. And I went into war mode. And I, I, I proceeded to put, put Topher through what I'd like to call the Kobe grinder of authenticity <laughs> he did. And, I, and I called him up for a discovery session I said you know I'd like to have a discovery session and then I went in and I started to scare the hell out of him uh, he literally shows up and he opens up his notebook and then he brings mm -hmm. out a spreadsheet and he lays out like four or five stacks of paper yes yeah it, it, and if and if you uh, you know he comes in and he's you know really good looking and he's very showbiz, and he sits down, and he made it very easy for me to, you know, upset him because I don't think you remember this. I'm about to embarrass you. I, I started to look Apparently at him, I, I and, had a drama. and his his skin color on his cheek and his neck were two different colors. He was wearing movie makeup, and I was like, "Are you wearing makeup?" And he's like, "Oh my God!" He started to blush. I couldn't really tell because he was wearing so much makeup, right? Yeah, I remember but, that, yeah. But I was like, are you wearing makeup? He says, oh my God, I just got off of television. Evidently, that's a thing. Yeah. It was new to me. So uh, yeah, I, did. Yeah, I started I to on. sit there, and then he comes in with his, you know, his radio voice. Okay, this is what we're going to do. And I pulled a Columbo on him. No, nope, yep. we're not going to do that. Yeah. For those of you that don't know who Columbo is, you're the internet generation. Look it up. So <laughs> I pulled a Columbo on him, and then I started to basically grill out of him all of these questions because I wanted to find the value. And I very quickly understood that KPI has this maxim, and you heard it a little bit earlier in a different form, and it's basically, if you give your clients 10 times the value that they're expecting, then price is secondary. Uh, Rachel, you were talking about that earlier, wherever she is, 
She basically gives all of value and then they just want to join with you because they know that they're going to get their money's worth and then some. So I started to look at things and I started to ask you, are there some charts and graphs and materials, you know, because there was like a ton of research behind what he was telling me. And that's when he had the upper hand on me. He said, oh yeah, we've got charts and graphs. <laughs> <laughs> we've got all the material you, you can handle. So yeah. I remember you even said, I'd like to speak to some people who signed on to the program and don't like it. Yes. Yep. I said, okay, Topher, tell me all the people, your success stories, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now tell me the person that you don't want me to talk to. I gave you the I gave You, you the gave number. me several names, yeah. yes. So I checked up on you, and I checked everything. We, we've done little government work, so we checked up on him. So, <laughs> so anyway, I was... I was really impressed, and the reason why I did that is being an entrepreneur, sitting where you are, I was thinking, I'm going to give these people the captaincy of my ship, and if I'm going to do that, I need to make sure that I know what I'm getting out of this. I need to make sure I'm heading in the right direction, because I know myself, and once I got in the program, I was going to pretty much do what I said I was going to do. I mean, I wrote a book about integrity. So. Um, oh, can I talk to that, by the yeah, way? Yeah, sure. Because I, I made a comment earlier about, you know, what's an IT kind of guy? IT guy going to write a book on IT? Nobody's going to read that book. Sexy. There's, there's, there's a <laughs> philosophy in our program where we talk about when you write your book, you can write a vertical book or you can write a lateral book. So a vertical book is, I'm a chiropractor, I'm going to write a book about chiropractic health care. A lateral book is, I'm a chiropractor, I'm going to write a book about the competitive edge in sports. But in there, in that topic, chiropractic will be there. For IT consultants, one of the hardest things for anybody in the IT world is to be seen as a human. They're seen as robots. Yes, so we like you. to de-robotize <laughs> IT people. And the thing that impressed us most, I mean, he's had a good go at me here right now, but I will tell you that when we in our corporation, we talk about the ideal client, we've actually given that ideal client a name, and that ideal client is nicknamed Kobe. Oh, God. Because, and not because of how he drilled us, uh, but because of what he's done. Um, Kobe is an interesting guy. If he says he's going to do something, he does it. And I know that shouldn't even shock anybody, but yet it does because most people nowadays don't do that. They get polite, they come up with excuses, and it just really took us back how he was so easy to work with and, and you'd make a commitment and you'd do it. And that's where we came up with the idea of having him write a book on integrity, which is what I think this guy lives and breathes. So Thank I'll you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's not a book that you just wake up one morning after your coffee and say, I'm gonna write a book about integrity. It's, it's not something that you just go out and do. It's not a lecture book. It has a lot to do with stories in my life. Yep. Um, and I wanted to thank KPI because I would have never written that book had it not been my colleagues, et cetera. Or developed the brochure. Or developed or, yeah. the brochures <laughs> or everything else that we yeah. did. I, I really started to get a, an ounce of clarity in that discovery session when we were talking about our business and everything because you learn that the pitch is, is really important. Well, what you don't realize, that's, that's what you want to hear. It is important and they have the formula for it. But what you need to hear is you have to understand your business inside and out in order to deliver that pitch. And it continuously grows and, and becomes a process that you carry with you for the rest of your life and whatever business is. So in the discovery session, we talked a lot about our business, the pitch, and then I started to realize that there's a lot here. There's a lot of value you get out of pitching. There's a lot of value you get out of product, productization because I have what people need. It's an easy job. Everybody's gonna need software. Everybody's gonna have it eventually. But if you don't give people what they want, if you don't make yourself visible, then, you don't, then you're invisible. Yeah. You're worth nothing. Um, and, and the biggest thing, and I did didn't go back in the Wayback Machine here, the biggest thing that I got out of KPI is sitting there like you are as an entrepreneur. I had only worked for other people six years of my life, ever. And I was so tired of doing it by myself and partnerships, understanding the people in the program, the yeah. people in my peer group, my accountability partners. Um, it really helped me. It really helped me grow. It really helped us grow as a business, understand who our targets are, who we need to do business with, et cetera. I wrote the book. I, I'm just amazed. And, and I appreciate you handing up the book because we, we did sell out on the first night, which I didn't expect. Yeah, he went from pre-order to back order in three hours, which yes. is pretty impressive. Yes, yeah. so I was yeah. selling so. a book. <laughs> one every two and a half minutes. Well. It was pretty amazing. Got one book. My mom was really nice. No. <laughs> but anyway, thanks. Appreciate you, I really appreciate it. You betcha. All right. Thank you. Kobe. Thank you. Thank you.